Storm Kathleen in UK, April 8, 2024. Where a strong storm creates powerful, destructive high waves. Huge waves crashed on the shore of Porthleven in Cornwall as Storm Kathleen batters UK. The meteorological event is expected to cause travel disruption and power cuts after 73 miles per hour gales and downpours hammered Britain. Inland there was minimal disruption from the storm, with the duchy actually seeing blue skies and sunshine for large chunks of Saturday, despite the yellow weather warning in place between 8 a.m. and 10 p.m. Although there was a period of heavy rain during the early evening that caused some localized flooding for a short time. <laughs> However, the wind was up throughout the day and combined with the high tides it resulted in some spectacular wave shots, taken from a distance, as these pictures of Storm Kathleen in Cornwall show. Forecasters had predicted wave heights of between 10 and 25 feet, coupled with strong southerly winds, with an accompanying warning that these conditions could create a dangerous sea state and increase the risk of strong rip currents. In the event the waves proved even higher than expected, with a record being broken in April. According to Alex Short, the Port Levin recording buoy hit the 33 feet mark, the previous record being 20.8 feet in the winter of 2023-24. Plenty of people were out to see the waves, although the majority adhered to the warnings and watched from safe vantage points away from the water. One car almost ended up in the harbor, however, after reportedly breaking down and then being moved along the road by the force of the waves coming over the harbor. Gusts of 50 miles per hour had been expected widely on Saturday, while some exposed spots, particularly on the coast, were predicted to see 60 to 70 miles per hour gusts. Cornwall Council advised people to avoid exposed coastal areas when Storm Kathleen hit. The warning came with good reason, as shown in Port Levin. A spokesperson for Port Levin Coast Guard team said, The storms are a magnificent things to see and it's fun to be sprayed by water. But we all need to be sensible and keep our distance to ensure that not only we are safe but the rescuers are as well. And we could be in for another rough night at the start of this week. There is a further yellow weather warning now issued by the Met Office for wind, starting at 6 p.m. on Monday and continuing until 6 a.m. Tuesday. The Met Office has said, strong winds and large coastal waves may cause some disruption. There is a small chance that danger to life could result from large waves and beach material being thrown onto seafronts, coastal roads and properties, or from flying debris elsewhere. There is a chance that power cuts may occur, with the potential to affect other services, such as mobile phone coverage. Some delays to road, rail, air and ferry transport are possible. Coast Guard rescue teams were deployed to Port Levin, Penzance and St. Ives as a precautionary measure to check storm watchers were not putting themselves in danger. The team at St. Ives pulled someone from the water but they were all right, Gil Rylance, the senior maritime operations officer for the Coast Guard in Falmouth said. She also warned that storm surge and spring tides will continue to create large waves this week. On Sunday Ms. Rylance said, it's quite dramatic watching the sea crashing on the headland here but please do it from a safe distance and don't put yourselves at risk in these conditions, especially this afternoon. We are working our way up towards spring tides later this week, so with the storm surge, as well, there's going to be some quite high tides. The worst of storm Kathleen appears to be over, but there is still a status yellow warning in place for three counties while 2,000 homes are still without power.
A status yellow warning for wind remains in place for Donegal, Mayo and West Galway until 4 p.m. on Sunday afternoon. Motorists are advised to look out for fallen trees or debris resulting from yesterday's high winds. Alan Riley from Carlo Weather said we're not out of the woods quite yet. Mr. Riley told News Talk, it's still a very windy day today. There will be scattered showers, and some of those showers could be locally heavy, with a possibility of some thunder. There will be some debris on the roads this morning, especially with a lot of branches having come down from Storm Kathleen. Obviously, some power lines are down, so people should take care especially if they're out and about this morning. Around 2,000 homes and businesses are still without power this morning following Storm Kathleen. ESB crews worked late into the night to restore supply, and their teams are back out on the road this morning, responding to any remaining faults. The Environment Agency has issued 119 flood alerts and 19 flood warning across England and Wales as further rain is expected to fall overnight in parts of Wales and the southwest of England this evening. Around 12,000 customers remained without electricity in Ireland on Saturday evening after Storm Kathleen swept across the island, with many remaining without access to electricity overnight. A spokesman for ESB Networks said, ESB Networks crews will continue to work late into the evening with a view to restoring supply to the vast majority of impacted customers by tonight. Strong winds are expected to persist tomorrow with a further yellow warning for wind has been issued for northwest Scotland on Sunday between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. The high winds also caused travel disruption. About 70 flights departing and arriving at UK airports before midday on Saturday were cancelled. Despite stormy weather, Saturday has provisionally become the hottest day of the year so far with 20.9 C recorded, the Met Office said. High winds and heavy rain from Storm Kathleen persisted through Sunday, battering parts of Scotland and Ireland and disrupting travel. The Scottish Environmental Protection Agency CP, had 18 regional flood alerts and 37 flood warnings in place in Scotland. They have been in force since Saturday. The Met Office has also issued a yellow wind warning from 9 a.m. on Sunday covering parts of the West and Northern Highlands, the Isle of Skye and the Hebrides. It will remain in force until 11.59 p.m. Winds as high as 73 miles per hour were recorded in Drumalbin, South Lanarkshire. A previous warning stretched from the Scottish borders to just south of Stirling. It spanned the west coast, throughout much of central Scotland, and ended just short of the east coast.